Hello guys and welcome back to episode 2 of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Let's play with me, your least favorite person And I have sad news, I recorded this episode and the next episode and guess what happened? The audio did not record at all, I had my microphone muted so I expected my microphone to be, well, not recording I did that by accident, but even my game audio did not record so I hope everything goes out this um, well But uh, we're gonna have to go do some things. I'm hoping I can just skip past dialogue since I don't search. And um, that will cut down an hour. Crash! As do you hear that just now? Also, I'm gonna be trying to speed like through this, because I've already seen this part of the game. It's not it's not something we need to know. The gates are burning and the ruler that was right there. It has disappeared, it has ran away. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. Do you think it actually broke through here? Or broke through there? Did do you? But it's off limits, no one's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came out in a real state. And there was nothing compared to the air force that she got from the professor after all. Edge, what do you say? Let's go save it. I already skipped past dialogue. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And what he says, you have to go in the forest, and, you know, to do it. Oh, okay, so we can't go up there. I didn't do that last time. Um, I got some clothing, and I spent 30k on clothing. And I only had, like, 1.4k left. And I actually really like this area. I really hope this, like, the forest design, like, comes back in the later in the game. Because I really like this. That really, what do you think it's gone off to? Well, I don't know. The forest is really coming on thick now. And this is where I saw this. My first new Pokemon. And I, I didn't catch it originally, and I just still don't think I catch it, because the mom gives you Pokeballs. So I'm just going to run away. Like, I'm being honest, I'm going to try to just speed to the point where I was. Um, I was going to go meet Professor Magnolia. And he doesn't talk about anything useful, so I'm just literally skipping through the game. And then I saw this, and I think this is the pre-evolution, like the pre-pre-evolution, so the basic, and then stage 1, and then stage 2, of Covenite, and Covenite stage 2. Or maybe even stage, it's probably stage 2, but if it's stage 1, ooh. And my goal is to catch every Pokemon in this game, since there's only 400 and like, 7, I believe. Ooh, you hear that? What's that? Do you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Yes, that's the Rulu. The Rulu has evolved. I just don't know if Rulu can evolve. I'm really hoping it can. Oh, a Scrofit, by the way. I don't know how to say it, so if you want to protect, um, um correct me. I I'd appreciate it. I really don't know how to say any of these new Pokemon names. Since a lot of these Pokemon wasn't revealed. Come on, Edge. That really might be in real trouble. I just noticed that it sounds like a wolf. And really is a sheep. Also, I love this music, by the way. Also, I didn't do this in this episode yet. No, no playing around. I actually really like this. For some reason, it kind of reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy. Don't know why. This is mad, I can't even see my own hand in my face. Also, this is where I commented on the fog, like a little bit before. I was like, oh, I like the fog. I know it's there to help draw distance and not be as noticeable in some games. But I think it's for aesthetics in this game. Or in this part of the forest. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. This, this is why this place is off limits. And then this place. Okay, so you can't skip it. I was just going to say if I can skip it. This thing comes out. And I think this is Zamazenta? What in the... Grilled. What is it? Grilled on. You get it? Showed on. And Christian Crystal Mark appeared. And you send out your Pokemon. And it's Crystal Mark, Crystal Mark, Crystal Mark. And then level Crystal Mark, Crystal, Crystal, Crystal Mark. And this is actually a pretty good fight, in my opinion. Use Ember. And it just disappears. It has no effect. Mr. Rear's Pokemon face is um, fist on you. And the move had no effect on it. And this is actually a pretty cool fight in my opinion. I actually really like this. I think the beginning of the game really... Also, I like the music by the way. Uh, the beginning of the game really... I hope if the game's like this, I'll at least really like it. And then it has fog. Wait. Did the fog like change the music? I think it did. And this Pokemon has fog. Not the fog. It has re-fog. There we go. In store, we cannot have any effects. 
Lily, refog. And this is what I thought um, I would have to go like select UI elements because I saw his UI in it, but it automatically played out that we can't see anything, obviously. You are. I actually really like that bad thing. And then we see this. And then the camera pans down to reveal we are only a piece of stone. No. Hop Edge, and then Leon appears. Which kind of surprised me again, even though I've already played this part. I don't know why Leon appearing uh, really just surprised me. Well, Leon, how do you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. Your pants. Your pants with direction. I never noticed that. Your pants with direction. You always get lost. First off, it's a straight path. So unless he has the ability to clip our bands, which he probably does, there's no way to get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from my little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting for you, um, waiting edges for you two, and you never showed up. Of course, I came looking for you both. What? Wait, where's Rulu? We were just trying to rescue that Rulu. And then, wait, she, his Rulu evolved into a Charizard, just like everyone expected. Meh. The little chap's fine. Um, though all you have fainted by the time I found you. You know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come here all the same. I can understand what, uh, well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least Rulu's alright. Yes? I thought we'd had it when that fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it, showed, and it had this sort of presence. Our uh, moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it? So the first some Pokemon they say that lives in Subling World. Which, right here is where I say, oh, we're going to be revisiting this probably um, at the end of the game. And this is going to be like a magical path that just appears and you're going to catch the legendary Pokemon somehow. At least that's how I'm theorizing this place out. Um, are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough, maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply I'll get, um, let's get out of, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that... I, now that I'm here with you, even if we did get ill fall from Lee, one experience, experience. Wow, I can't read. This will make a pretty fine first place in my tale of my legend. You tell, um, have the current unbeatable champion that has a Charizard in your legend. Imagine that. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Red Hearts now. She'll go spill if you lead with our ward. Even worse than Lee just did. And then I noticed they had spear, and I was like, that doesn't make sense. But I walk in a hill, and then I just notice our mom is actually a unique design. I did not notice that before. And I actually kind of like it. It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't know why that, like, I didn't notice that before. I guess I was really tired. I was really tired when I recorded that episode. But now, it's in score, but it's a sweetheart. And yes, I heard the news from Yang Yan. I'm sad someone bothered to tell me after Red Hearts, aren't you? Aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your Johnny. That's 30k, by the way. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center, maybe some po um, potions or something. You know that Skull Bunny will battle you for the very end, so you don't go pushing the ball there off too hard. Fah. And you, Skull Bunny, look after my little edge. Come home any anytime. We stretch the blah blah blah. They said stuff. And this took me like 20 minutes, so we're making good progress. We're making pr good progress. Also, I didn't notice. Oh, I think I might have noticed this last episode. No, I definitely didn't. There's two butters here. I remember this. Like, I actually, like, pointed that out. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. I was more excited for two Budoos. Like, the way I said it, it was like, more excited for two Budoos than new Pokemon. So, that's kind of funny. Route 1. Here we go. This is quite a big step, you know. My first step in, um, toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably have to train Grookey a bit by having it battle the Pokemon in the trial grass. Good advice. You should see that. Uh, you should get yourself that battling with the purple roof and the great red and white ball mark out on the front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. And I agree. We have to go though. Oh, do we have to go like around? I guess we do. Oh, we have Pokeballs, so I'm gonna try to capture a Pokemon. Uh, this is Corvette, so I'm gonna be cutting until I capture it. Um, unless people want to watch me like catch Pokemon. Like, I, I don't see any point of doing this. Like, I'll weaken it. This is how I do it, and then I just throw Pokeball. 
and it gets captured. Like, I think that one might have a 100% capture rate though, so. Eh. One. Two. Three. Done. Also, um, I won't exclude any, like, new Pokemon from my, like, cutting out. I'll just be cutting out battles that we've on of Pokemon we already seen if I capture them. I'll show you me capturing them. Capturing them. But they do not get added to your Pokedex. I don't have any good name. Oh, I actually found my favorite bug type around here. I want to see if it's still here. Yes, it is. Fantastic. This oh, my favorite bug type. I found a bug type and I got so excited for this bug type. Because I really like the bug type of each generation. Um, I like, well, the like two first evos of a bug type line. It's my least favorite for like the starting bug. So like, um, Grubbin, Charger Bug, even though that's actually my favorite, like, two bug type line, like the first two, basic and stage one. But like, Vivillion is my favorite line, so I'd love to use one. Or at least one of these. If Vivillion is in the game, I would love to use one. Seeing Vivillion's patterns in HD. Ooh okay, so here's um, Struggle Bug, by the way. Um, which is just to point out that they actually gave him a moveset. They didn't, like, just give it tackle and harden, like they usually do with every other bug type, so that's good. That's two bug type line for the starting bug type has been really unique. Charger Bug was actually kind of decent, and not useless, and actually had, like, a, was an actual usable Pokemon. And this one, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but at least it has a starting move that's not used by every single bug type in the game. And, yes, I want to give it, no, actually, I don't have a nickname. But I'm going to be using it on my team, so. Actually, don't need to do it. Also, I have mystery gifts, so I should do a video on how to get your Gigantamats, Meowth, and everything. Ooh, Cerulu. Yeah, I'll be capturing this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, like, skip into my capture. And Pokemon Go! One. Two. Three. Four. Four. Four is the capture. I forgot about that. I knew it in my head if I thought about it, but I don't know why I automatically didn't think about that. Also, I'm just gonna click something right now. There we go. Um, Pokemon Go experience because capturing um capturing Pokemon give you experience. From X and Y. Scroll. Oh, I thought it was a nickname. I was like, what Pokemon did I give Scrovet to? Like, that sounds like a name I wouldn't even think of. It's a Pokemon name. It's <laughs> a lot of Pokemon names I wouldn't think of, like Gensect. Also, I noticed this over here. I was like, what's this? And this is a brand new Pokemon. Nick it. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Like, it's just, just, I've already seen this before. This is not unique. Um, I thought it was decent. I kind of like it. Um, it's a pure dark type, so it's like pulling, I guess. Uh, that did a lot, but I'm just gonna throw it. I didn't originally want to put this on my team, but I'll keep it on my team. Because it's one of those Pokemon where if it evolves into the core, I'll actually keep it on my team. Um, it's not, it might be like a dog type. How many dog types are in this game? Probably. Probably not a lot. Also, if you didn't know already, I'm going to be rotating through multiple teams. So I'm going to have like two teams, two like dedicated teams. And one team I'm going to have like a, well, my starter is probably going to go through all of it. Or at least some of my Pokemon. But I'm going to be like, oh, these three Pokemon are getting a higher level. I'm going to switch the high level Pokemon out and then throw three other Pokemon that are under leveled on my team. Did I capture this? I don't think I did. So, since this one is not new and we already encountered it, Rookie D, I'm going to cut. Easy capture. Okay, that was one Pokemon. I literally only had to throw the Pokemon. I make my editing so much, like, nonsensical of nonsense. Rookie D, I'll keep on my team. Just see what evolves new. If it doesn't evolve into something that looks like Corviknight, I might just, like, get rid of it. Oh, also, I noticed that. Well, if you get a new item, it pops up and gives you the description. I think that's pretty neat. Anyways, uh, I believe there's one more Pokemon on this route. Oh, I wanted to go through the Pokedex descriptions. I already read the Pokedex descriptions. I'll be honest, I don't want to go through it again. I might do it at like, the end. But you see Leon right here, or Leon's Charizard, the ultimate Charizard. Yep, I love Charizard. The champion's over there. Yep, yep, yep. Love the champion. 
fantastic. And uh, if you go up here before doing any of that event, because I remember this from like the trailers where I saw the shopping, you get this. Amazing. This is where I deserve to do this. Actually, let me get clothing. Now, you have to buy clothing. You can't actually go into the thing and get the clothing available on the thing, so. Uh, which one do I want? I want a hat. Give me a hat. Oh, I can do this. Okay. Scally hat. Blah, blah, blah. No, like, regular hats? No? I'm gonna pass on a hat, I guess. Oh. Can I just eat? Uh, how do I, like, reset it? I guess that's good enough. I don't have to get it back into profit. Uh, which one am I gonna choose? Hmm. I actually don't know. I chose this originally, but I like it. Actually, I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna get this one again. I, I know I'm gonna be broke, but... And... It, it's gonna be kind of painful not being able to, like, pay for anything. But I should get money. I should be able to get money. Like, glitter in the game. I'm gonna change it to that. I mean, they look similar enough. I think this one actually matches perfectly. Um, something I wanted to do was take off my hat. Which you have to like press X on the controller instead of like clicking it again on like Sun and Moon. So that's different. And they actually give you like some actual good stuff. Like, they give you gloves. They give you like some things. They give you socks. That, I don't know why would you want that. Since you only have one pair of shoes. Can I take off the shoes? No. Nope. No. No. Okay you only can take off the hat. Fine with me. Yes, I went through everything and just like press X. And let's look how. Oh, I didn't. No, we have to go in back inside. We have to spin around. Can we spin around? Oh, I have to go slow, right? There we go. Fantastic. Love it. I love how they actually look at me on the way out. Like, what are you insane? What is wrong with you? How far can I go, actually? Can I actually like go all the way down here? I'm exploring. Oh. I lost the trainers. Uh, I lost to the trainers, train the teams I'm out to. I just can't believe it. Give me a moment to process. I'm in shock here. No, but okay. I'm gonna be forced to. Well, we're gonna have to go back and, you know, uh, do the thing, the event, the scripted thing magical. Thing magical. Yeah. Beautiful. Sometimes in my head, it's like, I want to cut as much as possible, but if I was watching this Let's Play, or any Let's Play, I don't like people cutting out that much stuff, especially like, new new games, like Blind. I, I, I don't feel it. If it's like a Nuzlocke series, they already play it through, yeah, cut out some things, but yeah. It's not a Nuzlocke, and I've never played this game before. I played this part, so I guess it doesn't matter. Well done, you reached uh, the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. It's not like it was obvious. Actually, it was not, it, it was obvious, but it wasn't super obvious. They didn't like, force you to. Go here. You could explore other buildings like the clothing shop. You did a you, know, you did a far sight better with my directions than my time with most of the time. I'm hoping those directions. Well, I'm so glad I have Charles on with me. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna read through this dialogue. But I'm gonna like uh, these books are actually cut um, like different, like on each bookshelf. So on the if they're on the same wall, they're like the same. But if they're like on one wall. And then the other wall, they're different. One has like dynamating, one has um, gigantif gigantification. Another one has just, like a study of the forest about mysterious Pokemon. That's all. I've got to give Professor Magnolia. I have to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks so fascinating. One rock. And there it is. Another Generation 8 Pokemon. They throw so many Generation 8 Pokemon at you at the start of the game. I love it. That's just throw Charizard in your face, but. What is it today, Leon? Looking for another never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you start with these outlandish requests. And there's Sonia, and then she's just gonna appeal. Okay, no, she, she had, they actually did this. I thought she actually magically teleported. I'm so happy they got rid of like the black screens. Like, oh, this kill does up there, and then black screen stop, and then they appeal. I'm actually happy about that. Good to see you too, Lampo. Lampo is the real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. You came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost, lost in the road. Those roads must not be that linear anymore back then. Oh yeah, and that's trainer. Uh, that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. 
So that was 10 out of 10. I, that actually kind of made me laugh like that. that, that the, the way that actually like dialogue, it, it was pretty good in my opinion. Just what kind of introduction is that? Did you forget that we were five was done our gym challenge? And it wasn't just Yampa helping you out. I did too. And then I believe this is Sonia's theme. I think we already heard this before, but I like it. Anyways, nice to meet you. Name Sonia. I'm professor's. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Edge. She's a new Pokemon trainer. I'll Sam on the right path with you. I still look how the animations are still not as like. I guess it's still in game, so it's not like a cutscene. Well, it's like external. I, I'll give it a pass. So, what does he think I am? He always got this head in the clouds. So no wonder he gets lost all the time. It's not a big nuisance. It might be in the animations, so I'm not going to try to complain about it. Even though, when I think of animations, I think of the, the death cut. At least Eevee's in the game, right? Oh, it looks like you have Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. No. This reminded me, I, I thought for a minute she was actually going to make Rotom become like the Rotom Deaths in Sun and Moon. I was about to throw a fit. But some phones are handle of thing, um, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. Is it a map and navigation tool? Or did I say that wrong? I noticed I said some things wrong last time and just made it rolls on the spot. I did that sometimes. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... I'm sorry, you know a lot about Pokemon? I really do. No said. In that case, I will make it so you use the Pokedex on your Pokemon phone. I have obtained the Pokemon Dex. Uh, can I get out of here? Just so you know, the Pokedex is a gift from my grand. Could you let Gran now... Gran now... Could you let Gran know that you got the Pokedex? There we go. She lives in the house alongside Route 2. Beautiful. And then I went all around and explored for no reason. I thought this was gonna like change Deoxys forms and I was about to throw a fit about how that's in the game, but Deoxys isn't. But at least I have a feeling that was sit there for Deoxys. And like it was actually like um, late game cut, but enough. Hey though, trainer, sorry to stop you. You have the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you are a Pokedex. I love talking about new trainers and giving them useful stuff. I have received a potion. Or well, as most people call it, a potion, but it's potion. I receive it. A potion, use it when you're low, blah blah blah, thank you. Not all just power. I agree with this guy. This guy has useful information. And then I already have oh was it the very pass? Oh I know no 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 no. Uh I think I already went through all of this, but I just wanna make sure. Imagine if I did like the skip movies. Can I actually explore a place? I don't think I did. That Pokemon in the building besides the Pokemon Research Lab, but Professor Nogale, you're sticking. You're fine. Oh no, I already did. Never mind, I did. There's nothing useful in these buildings, I believe. Did I go in here? Is this the railroad station? It is. Never mind. I went in though. The music's pretty good. I don't. I didn't talk to any of these trainers, actually, I believe. Actually, no, I did. On my way back, I think. No, I didn't, actually. Hmm. Get your Pokedex from Sonia, then it's time to meet up with a lot of different Pokemon and start building a strong team. But battling a strong Pokemon in the wild can lead your team in a bad way. Not to mention battling trainers can be. Luckily we have a Pokemon Center. Luckily the daddies is your spot, they look the same wherever you go. Come on Edge, you bet you've never been inside one. I have though. Well not, as you have in this one. I haven't, last time I said, I haven't been in this one. Or this kind of style, but I've been in this style. Well, that's just the first time you um Pokemon Center. I want to say, of course not. Last time he didn't give me any kind of like tutorial or anything. If I say, of course not, is he going to teach me or is that guy still going to interrupt? I don't think I need to tell you what you already know. Did that really? I think I pressed no. I'm going to have to go back to that dialogue. I hope I pressed no. But I'm going to restore my Pokemon. And also, I actually really like this. I just thought it was like really unique and everything. And I think it's around the same amount of time like in other games. Rotom notices you, but I'm running out. Um, you can do name read or stuff though, but I'm broke. Well, it's free, but. Listen, as I've been thinking, if you're a Pokemon trainer, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge. The gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate. Then in a competition where trainers can battle out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you gotta be endorsed, so if you wanna be ticked apart. And Lee doesn't think I'm up to snuff. So I think I'll talk to the professor and see if she can help. You gotta take the part too. A proper rival is the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. It keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is the way down at the end of that too. So let's head there and give our teams a chance to train up a bit. On the way. 
Part of me wants to say, how did I like make this like forever? Then I remember I went into almost every building and like tried to avoid stuff and I talked to literally everyone, which is how this Let's Play series is gonna go after this episode. Oh, that's Rookie D. Over here, Edge. All right, it's trying to fill a team in a bit. And then the one first, and I'm here to teach you how. You need to catch a Pokemon if you caught any, um, if you have any hope of filling the Pokedex. Lee, where do you come from? Oh, only look at you, a lot of edge. You already caught someone on your own. Have a full team. Your mom gave you some book. Um, give, you gave you those book bots. I use some more book bots. In return, I only ask you to catch plenty of Pokemon. Filling my book debt, hopefully. I've never done it in a game. Even if it's just the regional debt. I've never completed the regional debt. Definitely not the national debt. The Pokemon around here seems easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainers team. What you say? I received 20 Pokeballs. A Pokeballs, yeah. That's in the Pokeballs, the potions. Um, Pokemon on your team will get a spin point when you catch, and of course, gym sets, map, mechanics, and generation. That was from. That was got. Returned in generation 7, and has returned in generation 8. I actually don't just like the catching mechanics. What's in here? That's oh, this, okay. I want to encounter a shiny. How much you want to bet I'm never going to encounter a shiny? Even when I do shiny hunting, I'm never going to encounter a shiny. They just appear out of nowhere. Oh, I saw this actually. Please tell me I got the right one. Yes, there we go. Okay, so I remember seeing this on the right. I was like, what's that in the grass? And then I got an encounter of it and I was like... It's not bad actually, it's not bad. I did, I did that just to like... Over uh, overstate what I meant. But... It's not a bad design, it's just not my favorite. But it evolves into a really good design. And that's all that matters in my opinion. It um, actually kind of reminded me of a Mario enemy. Like, being honest, it kind of reminds me of the bombshell Koopas from Super Mario Land. Not a bad thing, it just reminded me of them. Except it has a pointy head. One, two, three. Capture! Yes. True to World was caught. Did I even get one last time? I don't believe I did, actually. My Pokemon game experience. Yay! Yes, long beat up. Might actually be useful. Choose the other badge of the Pokedex. The snapping. It starts off by battling. Uh, it starts off battle by attacking with its rock head horn. But as soon as the opponent flinches, the Pokemon bites down and never lets go. You want to give a name to the shooter? Also, I really like that name. Also, you just press B since the bots. I love this game. This game, that, that that's amazing. I know Generation Five, Generation Seven had that, but they brought it back. And you have to get the game credit for that, apparently. That guy's ready to destroy me. Watch. <gasps> it's common manners for Pokemon trainers when they're to battle when their eyes meet. Also, I really like this, like, little animation thing. There's a Jason that's scoreboard. Also, I just noticed how long it takes you to get into a battle. Like, Train of Battles, I actually didn't notice this, uh, I noticed this a little bit before when I was editing the video, my um, episode one. I was like, whoa, it actually doesn't take you that long to get into battles. And I think that's because the Switch is more powerful, and this game obviously probably does have a lot of compression. So, it just loads faster, it's on a cottage, pretty it's against it's on a cottage. And it's also the Switch is more powerful. So I like how it, it doesn't take you like, Five seconds just to get into a battle, like through the black screen. Kind of refreshing, actually. I've been going on for like 30 minutes, I believe. This is my time assist, 30 minutes. Really good to level six. Everyone's leveling up because it's low level. And I'm battling higher level Pokemon. Oh, there's a strong trainer. Also, the reason I'm training scroll buddy is because I just want to get through this area. Oh, is that? I have never. I actually didn't see this last time. It's um, Galalan Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon. So, um, up to my point, I only saw a new Pokemon. I want to use a potion. So, this is. Um, I can't wait to see actually Galalan um, in the game. Yeah, in the game.
Um, that, like, potion hill sound seemed really compressed, actually. Maybe it's not compressed. There we go. Look at it. It's Galala and Zigzag Goon. I'm gonna catch it. I don't like Obstagoon, but I love Zigzag Goon and Lunoon. More importantly, Zigzag Goon. So I really hope you can actually use um, a regular Zigzag Goon in this game. I can pull it in. Did I just input it? I think I do. One. Okay, that took half. Ooh, a sand attack. Good choice. I just love looking at this thing like move. I don't know why. Use the Pokeball. Fantastic. Also, I love how I said it was cutting out battles and then I just don't. Actually, a Pokemon that I haven't seen before. There we go. There we go. Only in this episode. Only in this episode. Other episodes, probably except for to leave them in it. And for me to commentate over it. I haven't actually read this book, but Pokemon descriptions, so this is gonna be amazing. Zigzagoon, the tiny raccoon Pokemon, dark normal, because fighting types can just destroy this Pokemon. Glanland form. Oh, so there's regular form in this game, maybe? Thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon, it moves in zigzags and rack wreaks havoc upon its surroundings. So, uh, I actually don't want to add to my team, do I? Hmm. Nah. So I already know what it evolves to. It's not the surprise of a Pokemon evolving and missing the new form isn't there, in my opinion. And there's some trainer tips right there, which I'm gonna avoid. Okay, I thought there was a new Pokemon, then I just realized, oh, it's the tail. Then three Pokeballs, and this is the final. Actually, no, there's another one. Ugh. Got speed. Also, I really like the last music. Cute and strong, together in combination. It's like mac and cheese. Last lawn. Also, I don't know if I comment on the battle theme. Um, it's okay. It's not my favorite battle theme, but maybe if I listen to it on YouTube, I can like tell the difference. Cuts. Only have one ear phone on, so maybe that makes a difference. Probably not, but uh, it's a true draw, so I'm just gonna use quick attack. Okay, and she shoots attack. Okay, low IQ AI. Also, just know that the spell spot is not like taking up the entire thing. It's just like a little potion. Like, if this is the HP ball, like, if this fingers the HP ball, this is this is it. And I know I used my middle finger for that. I it, it was like the longest finger, so I just wanted as much as room to show it off. I also like the wind. Um, a lot of wind. They just disappeared. They just like upped and dipped. And then two other Pokemon appeared to take their place. Amazing. No, those are not new. I couldn't be Hop, I'm gonna beat you. What do you think you can beat me? That's a pink sh shield, so the purple magenta background should be purple. The red magenta background should be behind me. And not blue. Disappointed in this game. Obviously. I actually really like the game up to this point. I can't say past this point because I haven't got to past this point. And the bug type's gone. That was easy. Also, part of the, how long it took because I was training up a bug type. That was level 2. Oh, it has a Nicket too. Oh, because I was in the middle of this battle. Um, okay, so this is where I actually ended off. Um, I was versus the bug type and I switched out and then my family came up, I came down and sat down, and I was like, okay, I'm going to unpause and everything. And I went to check OBS, and I was like, wait a minute. My audio levels are not working. Well, my microphone's muted. Oh, wow. That's not good, actually. Use Imbol. Ah. A critical hit. Oh, the critical hit test is actually a different color now. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I love that top shot. I really hope there's like an Eevee shot with like that much detail on it. I really hope there's actually that. And we defeated Youngstore Benjamin. You might have made me reset my game before, but not now. Not now. And yeah, this is where I'm ending it off on this bridge. But to end it off, I'm going to say thank you for watching and i hope you like this video and if you did like it put the like button for me to end the video so i'll my content up to subscribe and be excited for the next series right or the next episode of this series 
If you're not, well, I'm not forcing you. And if you do like it, press the dislike button. But thank you for watching. And that is all. So, goodbye.